Hey, every hey everybody, one Hi here. Today what I've got for you is a repair for the kids ride-on toy. Would be known as a Power Wheels, but Power Wheels is the actual brand name. So anything that is not a Power Wheels could be powered by this guy right here. Now one other way to know is if you have a remote control that looks like this. Yes, it's a Bluetooth remote control. If your kid's Power Wheel doesn't have this, then this is probably not the right video for you. What happened to me was I uh, decided to step it up and hook up the 18 volt lithium drill battery and blew it. So um, these are 14 to 16 volt rated components and on the 12 volt they're fine but on 18 volt it's a little too much. I blew a capacitor and probably the relays which we'll take a look in here. Um, basically if you don't care about the insides here order the new product. This is the old one. This is the new one. Notice they both have red here. You want to count the pins. This is a seven pin. I won't be able to focus on it, but there are seven pins there uh, on that, this in between this red part here. To remove it, you remove the steering servo, I believe. This is the output for the motor, I think, and this is the input for the battery, if I'm not mistaken. There's wiring diagrams available online. Uh, here's a part number from Amazon. You can also order from eBay or other places. About $25, $30, I want to say, at the time of recording. Not too expensive considering the truck itself. It's a little Jeep. It was about $200 or more than that. So, blew this circuit board. Here's what it looks like to take it apart. You uh, remove these tabs. Also, uh, a screw that holds it into the body of the vehicle. This is under the hood, by the way. There will be a bunch of wires going to it if you're trying to find it. So you just kind of pry these, these little tabs out. Be careful. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you this, because you won't need to do this. All you need to do is replace the box. But I'll show you how it failed for those that are interested in electronics and circuitry. Uh, I'm not a master at this, but I can show you what happened. Was the capacitor, which goes right here with a circle with the white and dark halves are exploded and it, some of its guts are still here that fuzzy looking stuff so I thought I just blew the capacitor tried to replace it and it just kept blowing if you know why that's happening you should comment below because I don't know um, these other components seem to be okay but I wasn't able to test them because I don't know how uh, but what I think happened was these relays are also rated for about 14 volts not sure how many amps but these two relays one's forward and one's reverse they take the input signal, um, run it through the processor, whether it's an input from the, the driver or if it's from the remote control on the Bluetooth receiver, wherever that is, maybe right here, I don't know, and uh, runs it through the relay, which sends power to the motor through this, I believe, so or the servo if it's steering power. So that's kind of what I think failed. I'll show you the replacement here. Same deal. I uh, accidentally locked it in place. I'm going to pause. Okay, so I got that off. Um, so if you do want to try and replace these yourself, these uh, relays are really hard to find, but if you're lucky enough, had this newer board. These relays, I don't know if you can tell, they are much larger than the replacement ones. It's pretty hard to tell on camera, but they're noticeably larger in person. Um, here's the part number in case you're curious, if it will focus. All right. And one thing I do want to note is going side by side here, you see there's a couple transistors or maybe those are MOSFETs, I'm not sure. Uh, you can see what I'm looking at there. Uh, there's just some uh, what appear to be diodes and then a a, a MOSFET or transistor on the right side here that's non-existent on the old board and this diode is sitting on a very large heat sink so I think it's a, this new board's able to handle a lot more current I'm still not going to go with 18 volts because it says right on here 14 volt DC you go over voltage on these they're pretty sensitive and that's what happened so uh, that's kind of a little breakdown and comparison of the old style versus the new of the Well Yi um, Right On Toy Controller um, board, I think is what it's called. Um, but uh, so hopefully this helps out. I, I've made this video because I couldn't find anything on it. On 
Sorry for the weird cutoff there. My camera ran out, but I decided to do a quick outro for you. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Please comment below. And that's it. One Empire signing off. See ya.